Hi everyone, greetings from Hollister, California. Hollister is a small town south of San Jose in the San Francisco Bay Area. The name Hollister might ring a bell because it's the name of a fashion brand of surf and skate related kind of clothing. It has nothing to do with the town. It is just a name that the company chose. This is a formerly farming town, now a suburban community for people who commute to uh, jobs north of here. I'm in a city park in the middle of town. As you probably know, when I talk about the San Francisco Bay Area, one of the things that comes to mind is earthquake risk. And that's true of this area as well, too, because this area is located right on top of a branch of the San Andreas Fault. This area has been affected by major earthquakes from other fault lines. However, there's a fault line that runs right through town and it's not a huge risk to the town, in this case, this particular fault line, because the fault is moving actively minute by minute or year by year at least. It's called the Calaveras Fault. Again, it's a branch of the San Andreas Fault complex. It goes right through the park here. And if you look behind me, there's a little hill and there's a little scarp there. That is actually the fault scarp of the Calaveras Fault. I am standing right now on the part of the land that is moving north with the rest of this section of California. And behind me is the Pacific, uh, sorry, this is the Pacific Plate that's moving north. And behind me is the North American Plate that is moving or staying relatively steady. And so the apparent motion is this part here moving this way and that part there moving that way, if, depending where you stood on the fault. The cool thing about visiting downtown Hollister is we can walk around and look for evidence of this strike-slip fault movement. That is, the two plate boundaries moving past one another has been revealed because of this constant motion of the fault line. Let's take a quick tour, starting right here at the northern boundary of this park in central Hollister, California. What you can see is this sidewalk behind me is straight and then has been displaced by that movement of the fault lines. This land that I'm on is moving this way at about 13 millimeters a year. That's about half an inch a year on average. This is just north of the park. Look at this, look at the displacement of this curb. The, 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 the curb right here has been just creeping its way north and this one's been staying right here. You can see the same motion in this retaining wall where the retaining wall was straight along there and then it's been, this has been moving in and this part over here has been stayed glued on the North American plate side of things. The Pacific plate has been dragging northward that way. Again, we have another beautiful example of the sidewalk being offset in the far distance moving northward with the Pacific plate and we're standing on the North American plate again in this perspective. All right, this is the same sidewalk I just showed a video of, but from the side, and you can see that right in here, there's actually a little dip in the road, and they've actually patched the road here as well, right next to that white car, just to make it so it's not a really big bump for cars to go across. Okay, check this out. The curb is straight, straight, straight and all of a sudden it's offset you can see where the fault shows here the movement of the pacific plate versus the north american plate so cool